In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can add mods to your Minecraft Eternal server. Now, it's actually very simple to do. Just make sure you follow along closely to ensure you get every single step done correctly. So let's get right into it. Now, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is make sure you're signed in on the Eternals website to your Minecraft server, just like this. Now, from here, make sure you have turned this server off so it's offline. And the first thing we want to go ahead and do is go down to the software here and we want to go ahead and change it. So press change. And then we want to scroll down all the way to where it says Forge. Now you can do mod packs, but I recommend Forge as it has a bit more cost uh, customization. So click on Forge, and then we're going to go ahead and select the version. Now it doesn't matter which version you select, I'm just going to go ahead and select the latest version. So click on this version here, or whatever you want, and it should go ahead and it should install it onto your server. So once you've selected the version, you want to go to this button here that says install and you want to go ahead and install it onto your server. Now it will take a few seconds, but you can see now it's got this tick button, which means it's installed. Now what you'll notice is that on the left side, you have this bar called mods now. So you can go onto here and you can download the mods from here. So they have their mods already on here. So you can go through and look at the ones you want. Now I'm going to install one called journey map. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go ahead and install the version, uh, this one here. And it will say a tick if it's compatible. I'm going to install this one, click this download button, and this is going to go ahead and install it onto your server. Now I'm going to teach you how to go ahead and continue. Okay, so now we have to go ahead and do is go over to where it says options, and you want to scroll down to where it says server properties. Now there's something here that says cracked. You need to ensure this is turned on here, um, otherwise it won't work. So make sure you turn that bit on. Now the next steps to go ahead and play it is rec I'd recommend getting this thing called CurseForge. So you can go to Google and you can search it up. Uh, essentially this is a Minecraft, well it's basically a mod loader but it works for Minecraft and basically you can go ahead and install it here. You can get the CurseForge app and it will allow us to install mods very easily onto our Minecraft launcher. So it means you don't have to do any of the manual installation stuff and the annoying technical bits. So once we're inside of CurseForge, we have to go ahead and install Minecraft and we can go ahead and create a custom profile and we need to ensure that we're on the same version of Minecraft as we are on our Eternal server. So I'm on version 1.21 and so is my server and my Forge version is 51.0.13. So make sure that uh, matches up with the one that's on your Eternal server. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and you can create a profile. You can name the profile if you want to, just so you have it um, separated. Mine here is called Zero, as you can see. Essentially, what this is going to do is going to install the Minecraft stuff onto here. It's going to download Forge onto it, uh, all the Forge files, that kind of thing. And then from there, we're going to be able to go ahead and add some mods. So just wait until it does all of this. So now what we can do is go back onto the CurseForge website, go onto Minecraft here, and we're going to go ahead and search for the mod that we've just added. So we're going to add journey map like this, and we want to go search it on their website. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit weird, but here we go. This is the one that we're looking at, and we're going to go ahead and click on it. And we need to basically go ahead and make sure that we have the correct um, version of it. So we want to go ahead and we want to install it. And basically, it's going to open up CurseForge here. And it's going to ask us where would we like to install it. So we're going to press select profile and we're going to select the one that we've got here. Now if that doesn't work for some reason or it's not compatible, what you can do is you can go into the um, version here. So let's say it's this one. We can go into uh, the browse bit, go to mods, and then we can go in here and search it. So I'm going to search in journey map here. And it should pop up at the top here. And we can go ahead and press install. And we can select the profile and select the one that it goes for. Now if you're finding that it's unavailable, you can create a new profile with it. And uh, you can go ahead down here and you can select the version. So you can see here that um, this journey map mod is only available for version 1.2.6 right now, which is why it's not going to be compatible. So make sure the mod is compatible with the same versions of the game that you're playing. So we can see now that it's installed on here and I can go ahead and click the play button. This is going to basically launch up the Minecraft launcher ready to go ahead and play. This might take a second as it has to update it and it has to download all the files, that kind of thing. Um, but just give it a second to go ahead and start up. Now what we can do while we're waiting for this is we can go ahead and we can um, go and find our server IP for Eternos. So this is my IP here and I can also, or I'll copy this one here, it's got, you've got to have the port. And I can also go ahead and start my server. Um, so basically this is going to go ahead and install the mods as I start it and it should 
work when I try to go ahead and play it. So just let this start up and then give it a second. Now, what we're going to be doing while we wait for that is we're going to go ahead and press play on here. On the Minecraft launch, you should see that it will say play and it will also say that you're on Forge, that kind of thing. That's all good. Click play and it's basically going to go ahead now and install the Forge version to your Minecraft launcher. It might take a second, especially if you have a ton of mods in here. Um, just give it a second to go ahead and load. Okay, so from here we can go ahead on to multiplayer and we can proceed. And we can go ahead and add our Minecraft server in here. So just paste it in and press done. And it should go ahead and load up um, ready to go. It might take a few seconds, especially if it's the first load up. And you can see here now it's ready to go. Now I am on the wrong version of Minecraft. Um, uh, you can see I'm on 1.20.6 and the server is on a different version. But if I had the correct version, it would go ahead and work there with the mods installed. So it's really as simple as that to go ahead and add mods to your Eternos Minecraft server. You can also add mod packs, which are kind of easier. Uh, and if you want me to make a video on that or anything else, let me know down below. But if you found the video useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that helped and, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.